Okay, now let's understand the branches of mathematics. So most people don't understand this, you know, we do, before we get into any idea or concept or subject, we first understand how exactly it goes about. So first understand that mathematics basically has only three branches, basically three branches only. Now what they are? The first operation, I mean, the first, uh, you know, like a branch of math is the arithmetic. The second branch is the algebra and the third branch is geometry. That's it. Math only deals with the three branches only. Let's first understand what exactly is arithmetic, algebra and geometry. Okay. Now, arithmetic is called as known to unknown. Now what is this known to unknown? We first understand like, you know, like uh, some tangible concept. Okay. Now, I told you that math talks all about numbers, right? Now when I say known to unknown, what does it mean is, we'll take a number something like this. Now you know what is this, right? It's known, right? Known. You know what is this? And because it's mathematics, we have to use some operation, right? Addition or subtraction, or multiplication, or addition, right? So I'll just use one operation plus, okay? You know this number. And I'll take one more number, like something like 39. And you know this number also. But when you add both the numbers, what would be the answer or the number? I mean, when you add these both numbers, what would be the new number? No, we can't tell just like that, right? You can't just babble out whatever the number you get in your mind, right? We need to logically calculate it and tell the answer, right? Yes. Now that's called known to unknown. So we know these two numbers, but what is the answer? We don't know. So calculating that unknown, known to unknown is called arithmetic or something like this. If I have something with me, 5,246, say some quantities, say I have some biscuits, biscuit packets, okay. And I give away uh, 3,799 biscuit packets to somebody, okay. How much or how many quantities of biscuit packets are left over with me? See, I know this number, I know this number. But what's the answer? Well, I need to calculate that, right? Well, uh, trying to calculate that is called arithmetic. Or there are something like 648 people, are, you know, like uh, uh, the 648 rupees and 12 people contributed this amount, okay? 12 people contributed 648 rupees. If 648 rupees is contributed to 12 people, what is the total amount? Well, I don't know that. I need to calculate that, right? So calculating that, see, known, to unknown, that's arithmetic. Or there's something like 9586, uh, you know, certain quantities are this, like rupees are there, okay? And there are something like 18 people who want to uh, share that money. So what we do? Then we do the division, right? So 9586 rupees, if 18 people divide it equally among each other, how much will each person get? Well, I don't know that. So I need to calculate that, right? So all this is pointing towards arithmetic. That's called known to unknown. Got it? As simple as that. So in our arithmetic, we are calculating known numbers to unknown numbers. Now let's talk about algebra. Now what is algebra? Okay, we understood what is arithmetic. Now what is algebra? Algebra is arithmetic the other way around. It is called unknown to known. Now what is this? What is unknown to known? Okay, now let me try to put it like a tangible information okay right now I put a question mark okay like some number if I add this number to like something like 7 I get 10 so what is that number what is that number when I add to 7 I get 10 well you have to apply a logic there right so you said it's 3 right yes now that's algebra now the same question what I ask you right now by putting question mark in algebraic form it's written like this it's written like x plus 7 is equal to 10 as simple as that so here in uh, algebra we are fi find, finding the unknown numbers 
Okay, we don't know the, the number. What is the number there? Okay, it's a, it's a question mark. Okay, here in arithmetic, we have the question mark at this point. 84 plus uh, 96 is equal to how much? But here we have how much plus 7 is equal to 10. Here we know the answer before only. But we got to solve for the question. Yes. So finding that unknown number is called algebra. As simple as that. Or something like there is some number and if I subtract uh, 5764 from that, I get 93. Now what is that number? No, I need to do calculation, right? I need to calculate that. So instead of putting a, a X or question mark there, I put a dash there. So finding that blank, finding that X, finding that unknown number, that's called algebra. Okay, now let's come to geometry now. What exactly is geometry? Geometry is when, see, the arithmetic and algebra, they both use numbers. Okay, somewhere you find, you know, known to unknown, unknown to unknown, but basically you're dealing with numbers only. Okay, and all these numbers are basically, you know, many people don't understand this. Numbers are basically abstracts. Now, what do you mean by the word abstract? Abstract means something which has no shape, which is not tangible. If I say 4, no, it's just 4 there. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. Until we don't link this 4 to some quantity, the 4 has no meaning at all. Until, until I don't link like, you know, like 4 marker pens or four chairs, or four biscuits, or four some edible things, so whatever, okay? So until we don't link the numbers to some quantity, all these numbers are abstracts, okay? So this arithmetic and algebra are both dealing with abstracts only. Now this arithmetic and uh, algebra, they both go and meet one new guy, and that guy is geometry. Now geometry is basically the visual aspect of mathematics. In geometry only, the numbers take a shape. Now numbers take different different shapes actually. So dealing with that shapes, numbers in different shapes, that's called algebra. I mean uh, geometry, what am I to say, okay? So geometry is the visual aspect of numbers. Visual aspect of numbers. So what are the visuals uh, we're, we're dealing with? It's again a big topic like, you know, what, uh, you know, geometry, uh, you know, is dealing with. What kind of visuals, what kind of figures the geometry deals in okay that's already a different story altogether but understand that basically your uh, uh, you know mathematics deals with only three branches of you know operations that is arithmetic algebra and geometry